In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really, really effective passing concept out of the Y off trips pats formation, also known as U trips uh, in Madden 23. And if you want to get my entire U trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. Our Patreon is only ten dollars to sign up for. I guarantee you that it will help you become a better Madden player. And for ten dollars, you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks as the game changes. And we need to update things you'll get access to all of that stuff as long as your membership is active and again any new ebooks that we will be releasing we're releasing a brand new ebook tomorrow or friday this week uh, on the bunch tight information really excited about that uh, but for right now let's talk about utrips and again if you want to get the ebook the link is in the description so utrips is really 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 powerful um like really 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 good and it's really good because it allows you to be able to beat the two popular metas that we're seeing right now, man coverage and man pressure. And so we're going to teach you how to use this concept to be able to do that at a high level. And also, uh, you can beat zone with, uh, you can actually beat zone with this play as well too. So, the play we're going to be going over is the play tight end deep out out of the U trips formation. And you can actually do this concept out of a lot of different plays, but tight end deep out is the best one in my personal opinion because it has this really nice fade route on the right side. And I want to show you this out route uh, to the running back is a very uh, versatile route as well this year. So uh, if you take a look at this, this route looks like a out route, right? Um, but if I snap the ball, you're going to see it doesn't really run like an out route. And I'll show you in instant replay kind of what I'm talking about. This out route is really going to run more so, um, it's really going to be more like a table route. So you see how he has that stem, and then he basically shoots to the flat. It's very similar to a shoot flat or table route um, from the running back. We have one of those in the play curl flat. So if you watch here, you're going to see that it looks very similar. And I actually think the route from tight end deep out is better. It's a little sharper cutting, um, and it's just a little bit more effective. So we can leave the running back on this route. We don't have to put him on anything um, at all. If we want to block him, we certainly can do that as well. Uh, but the main thing we want to do with this play is we want to put the tight end on an out route, and we want to put Smith Schuster, um, our slot receiver, on a slant. And what you're going to see here is we basically create a slant post concept that is really, really, really powerful. So the post route in this formation is really good against man-to-man. -man. It's really good against anything. And we already have this really nice fade route to McColl Hardman on the outside. The beauty of this fade route is sometimes that will actually get separation um, against press man. One of the things that a lot of people are doing right now to stop some of the routes that U-Trips has at its disposal is they're shading their coverage underneath. What you'll see with this play like this is if this fade route gets that, where you see how it gets that over-the-shoulder um, kind of animation, you can freeform that over the top of the player, and it can be a very it could be a potential one-play touchdown. Uh, this is also seen in things like uh, cover two, for example. So let's say that they run a cover two play against you. You're going to have this little fade, and you see how again it's it's funneling to the outside of the field. So you can throw that with a free form outside. If you don't like this fade, feel free to put a um, a fade, an actual fade out there. Okay, you can easily do that as well. Um, you know, but you see how really powerful that post route really is. Um, and so that post route basically has to be usered. Um, it basically has to be usered. So uh, to illustrate this, we're going to um, you know, put this guy in the middle third, and then we're going to take uh, this guy and put him over here. And then we're going to have kind of a mimic like this is our user, and he's going to go guard um, he's going to go guard that post. So if that's the case, then you've got a couple of options. The first thing you have is this motion slant. And the beauty of this motion slant is it's going to get in soft spots against zone as well as man-to-man. -man. For example, let's say that they're playing cover three. Okay, what you're going to notice here is, generally speaking, okay, generally speaking, this defender is going to have to go with the um, the post, right? The user is going to have to go with the post. And, and, and so in this situation, you see here, they go with this post, and that leaves that little void right there where we can hit this slant route. 
Now, the beauty of this offense is it, we can also pick up a lot of the blitzes with our pass protection out of this. So a way that we can block out of this is we can just do something like this. So let's say that they're running spinner. And this will illustrate kind of what this might look like. A lot of times in spinner, you're going to basically get this right here. Um, this is a general kind of way people are going to defend you. Um, so again, you're going to block, you're going to slide protect away, ID here, um, kind of a general pass protection system. And then what you'll see is this tight end out route is really, really effective for being able to beat the blitz quick to the outside. Now, if you have the short in elite ability on that tight end, you're going to see a little bit more success with him actually making that catch. But that's one of the most consistent ways um, in this formation to be able to attack man and zone is just by simply hitting this little tight end out route. The tight end out route does a lot for the formation as a whole, um, and it provides you know quick reads against the blitz. The other thing that you have is, again, this post route coming over the middle of the field. I want to show you how this post route really does a great job of breaking down zone. Let's say that they do uh, decide that they're going to stay on the slants. So they're going to kind of use the slant route, um, and they're going to play some zone coverage. What you'll see with this here is they're going up on the slant, and it leaves that right there open for you to be able to hit with your uh, post route. These plays get open quick. This formation is super balanced. It can attack pretty much every area of the field. It's what makes U-Trips, I think, such a powerful formation in this year's game. And if you would like to learn exactly how I run the U-Trips offense, make sure to join our Patreon um, at the link down in the description. For just 10 bucks, you'll get access to literally everything on my offense, everything on my defense, all my eBooks, as well as all of the updates uh, to those eBooks that you can uh, get access to that way you can always stay updated and know how we're tweaking things how we're changing things uh with the current meta again ten dollars will get you access to everything so if you like the video you want to sign up for the patreon make sure to head down to the description down below and we hope to see you guys over at the patreon page